a lot of the things you're going to hear in this interview are untrue. And it was on my channel in early 2017. This is the interview between me and I am Alex over the Zaptai situation. This would actually go on to be sort of a keystone in the investigation that Nick DiOrio did that helped bring clarity, truth, and vindication to Zaptai almost three years after the actual incident. Back then, I smelled a rat. And I saw a bunch of children talking about things they don't understand, like psychopathy. And I started to wonder, hey, maybe they got this wrong. Maybe they just don't know what to do. And maybe they're more in fear of their careers than getting to the actual truth and not really all that concerned about victims. This would become a theme in my channel. Not only that people don't care about victims, but how awful YouTube collaborations can be and how quickly you can be thrown under the bus by people that call you call your friends. It's sort of like being in the mafia. Your best friend is the one that takes you out. That would be the story of Zaptai. This would later go on to be Nick DiOrio, in his own words, his greatest accomplishment to clean up the mess of Elvis the Alien, Deodor the Anthony, Bionic Pig, and I Am Alex. Strangely enough, um, this great accomplishment that Nick DiOrio had uh, was actually, he actually got help by Bionic Pig. Some of the stuff that uh, he was able to get, uh, some of the evidence he was able to get would later vindicate him. But no effort was ever made by Elvis the Alien and or Bionic Pig to help uh, Zaptai, not even when the situation became abundantly clear in 2019, not a retweet, nobody reached, uh, reached across to Zaptai to say, I'm sorry, we got this wrong. In fact, most famously on this channel and on Nick DiOrio's channel, Elvis the Alien would go on and repeat some of the debunked talking points that you're going to hear on this interview as if Nick had never made his Zaptai videos to begin with. This is a four-year saga, if you can believe that. It took us almost three years to get to the bottom of it, and it took us um, four years to really get Zap or Zaptai in a place where he could go out and speak on it. Quick note, I'm going to be putting Nick's videos and a lot of the other videos that kind of sum up this whole saga. You're more than welcome to go look at them in the description box below. It really goes all the way to 2021. I think it's finally over now, but you'll see, I, I, I some like again, some of the things you're going to hear uh, here on this uh, podcast are untrue. And if you continue to go along in chronological order, you're going to find out why and how they were found untrue. In 2017, something didn't seem right. When I started to question the Zaptai situation, I was uh, called the P word or suggested that I was a P word by defending other P words. Uh, one of the funny things about this interview is it's about the way Alex handled it. And you'll, you'll see that Bionic Pig is in my chat dying to get in claiming that I don't even let Alex talk when I actually caught him in a lie. I guess that's a, it, because they want to continue to repeat these sort of false, eventually would be proven false allegations. These people did nothing to help their friend. And that's kind of been a theme on Chop and the Point, how collaborations between YouTubers and this public image of, of being friends and being tight is absolutely false. That's why I'm so lucky to have my team and have them be so loyal to me um, in tough situations that we go through from time to time. It happens when you take chances on the internet and it definitely happens when you get to the truth. You'll see Bionic Pig do absolutely everything he can to keep me from getting to the truth, which is strange because it would eventually help Nick DiOrio, but he wouldn't use his platform to help clear Zaptai. In fact, he never even called out his friend for essentially lying, saying on one hand in his own podcast that he would always be there for Zaptai and that he, would, he was his friend, and in 2021, completely go back to the talking points, some of which you'll see here, 
uh, to to actually protect himself, to, to rewrite history, so to speak. The videos that Nick made came out in 2019, and they were absolutely 100% silent, at least in the public. They could have done a lot of good to do this, but I guess they didn't get into the bottom of it, so and there was really no value for them. And ultimately, it does make them look like the childish people, the unadult people that they are. But that doesn't stop them from preaching on Twitter about social issues up into including mental health. And that's what we really have here at the end of the day. We have a YouTuber struggling with legitimate mental health issues. And the people that will, I don't know, preach about it on Twitter next mental health day, and I'm sure they'll do it again, even though this video's out, even though they have no business, even though they have screwed things up like this in the past, they will continue to preach because that's what YouTubers do. They virtue signal to let everybody know what good people they are in a quest to find more fans. Truth be damned. This is my interview with I Am Alex right. in early Sorry, 2017. Uh, let's see if we can get him on here. Shit, I always hit, I, I'm so bad at that. Well, he, sh he should have moved faster. Alex, you there? Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, good. Uh, we don't have to exchange pleasantries because you have a lot of explaining to do. And oh, that's you saw fine. You saw what we had to say, um, and I do want to give you uh, a chance to defend yourself, and I'm going to give you that chance right now. Oh, it's not, for me, it's not really about defending myself. I just, like, because I, I totally understand where all you guys are coming from because that's how I went at it first. Because this is the, the thing that I struggle with is obviously... A lot of it played out in private. A lot of it played out publicly. Privately, because you, you've spoken to Anthony. I know you have. Um, Anthony had to convince me that Ed was bad. Mm -hmm. want, I thought that's important. Yeah, but that's the problem. Because, Anthony didn't convince me yeah. of shit. In fact, he con no, convinced me um, of exactly will, the opposite. You know. Uh, I want to talk about the depression and sociopath thing first, if that's fine. Mm -hmm. Because this is the thing that still confuses me. And I've messaged Ed, and he hasn't replied. Same because here. I knew Ed was depressed. Mm -hmm. He told me the first day we spoke two months ago. And then when he got called out for cheating, I was in a private call with him, right? Sure. And then he told me he was a sociopath. Yeah, sure. And I said, and I said to him, uh, he did say, this is, these were his exact words. I have text messages. I think Anthony has them too, if you need them. So sure, you don't, I don't need them. I don't need them because a lot of this uh, stuff is already public knowledge. Yeah, anyway. so... So, so Ed said to me, I have antisocial personality disorder, mm -hmm. and I stayed quiet because I didn't really know how to take that in. Mm -hmm. And then he went, which also means I'm a sociopath. And I Googled it, and I went, well, how do I help you if you're a sociopath? And he said, it's not curable. Mm -hmm. And I went, well, how do you expect to, um, to carry on? Because the thing with Ed was he always... It's really weird with him. He gave me the idea that he really wanted to fix everything, and he and I helped him because that's why we started. Yeah, talking. but you're you're getting away from the from the criticism, uh, Alex. Oh, no, the no, criticism the is that, that this. I mean, I I can't honestly expect you to know how to take something like that. I don't know how I'd take something like that. But what I would oh, do I is badly. put it in the public, uh, and especially in our commentary community, uh, which is yeah. unbelievably critical, uh, unbelievably mm -hmm. forgiving. And once you put that, and you got you, Alex, have a great responsibility of being a public figure, as do I, as the colossal is crazy, as do all three of those guys in the hot wet soup. Yeah. Uh, you put this out there without knowing anything other than a dictionary desk of it uh, that's all that me uh, and vwq know i will tell you why we put it out there because we kind of well the last thing we wanted to do is make it public issue was number one um people are already tweeting it who knew it so it was actually already public yeah knowledge. but here's another uh, thing my sources have told me that's not true that you guys were all loaded for videos to distance yourself and then you you, no, you no, that's not true ever, are you saying that's not true right now uh, I will say the podcast was the only thing we discussed. The only Individual there was never videos. videos made or thought of to distance yourself from. Oh them. fuck no! That okay, would be awful. I, so I just want to get that. I want. I want. I just wanted to hear that out because loud. Because I I want it to be clear. Like uh, because the thing is, obviously Elvis is on the cast. He made a video on Leafy mm -hmm. uh, when the whole Leafy thing went down. I remember that. Um, very bad idea. You don't okay. make videos like that in your friends. Sure. Uh, that's 
not, not okay. Stupid, all right, you've really. denied it. You know, but I, I uh, want to get because that because the criticism of you, Alex, is the way you've handled it, the way you've kind of carried yourself, um, and then when when faced with the fact that look, Zaptai's come out and said, uh, pretty much would would would. What, what V has been saying, that this is a cry for help. The other two guys were skeptical, but accepted it. You went on Twitch and felt bad for yourself. Uh, no, I didn't feel bad for myself. Uh, it's I, a little tough to I'm tell from what the, the, the little a, that I've no, seen. I'm a, I, well, it's been a bad week, but it's not about <laughs> that. Like, uh, I mean, for me, what the issue is, is that he is still lying in his twit longer, and he doesn't have to be. And I messaged him and said, Ed, you don't have to carry on lying. What part? You know what part was he lying about? What part in the twit longer was he uh, lying let about? Let me get the twit longer up. The first okay. two sentences is a lie, where he said he never said he was a sociopath. I was okay. not happy about that because okay. those were his exact words. Because I'm not gonna like you guys. Hold on, uh, I want to see the twit longer too. I I think he said that he uh, yeah, said it. Uh, I don't think he said that let's he was. Try and load it up together because that makes more okay. sense. Okay, that that no, that makes more sense. I agree with you there, bud. I want to go. F it's so far. I hate Twitter so much. Um, but I, I do want to say, yeah, I. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I need to know the lies the because I mean that is important. Uh, I yeah. mean, his first thing is the like, I'm not a sociopath where I am. It said, yeah, uh, yeah. uh, we'll rip the band-aid off. Oh, no, I'm not a sociopath, never have been. My exact wording that I was diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder, which turned into a diagnosed sociopath. There's no diagnosis, no therapist, no doctor. As admitted, I've been lying for months saying that uh, anything I thought would make things better. W what, what part of this is a lie? Okay, so uh, number one, saying that it turned into Ed's a diagnosed sociopath is uh -huh. not correct because those were his exact words. He okay. went, I have a diagnosed sociopath. Okay. And I thought he had a therapist because of his depression. That's what he always okay. told me since day one of us talking. Okay. In real life, friends of his, now I want to find the emails because I don't have the emails. You don't have I'm to give sure me the emails. All you got to do is stick to this. That's all you got to do. You got to uh, do is stick what we're talking because he said that he lied his right away. In real life friends, yeah, his in real life friend says he does have a therapist. Okay. Which I find is weird. I don't but know I want to know about, about the lie that's in the first part of this paragraph. Oh, uh, uh, it he him saying that he just said he had antisocial personality disorder. And okay, never so so we're talking about a semantic word because you know sociopath is sort of the slang term, uh, the same slack word for antisocial personality disorder, right? Uh, yeah. But so he's not essentially he, lying. No, you really have no, a problem no, with the wording of the sentence. He, he told me that he no, his words were, "I am a sociopath." Okay. He also texted. Um, the main girl that he was cheating does on. That, does that important. change? Did that really change my narrative at all, or, or my beliefs, uh, or my criticism no, at all? No, the fact that he told annoying. you he was a sociopath and he's he's lying, or maybe no, doesn't no. remember about no, the listen, fact that he used I, the I, I proper have a term. With what you said to me, I have I haven't actually. I was angry at first, not mm -hmm. at you, but at Ed, and I didn't really know how to take in the fact that um, he lied to me every single day before the podcast and after the podcast because. Okay. I feel like it's important that people know I didn't just do that podcast and cut ties with Ed. This is why the podcast. Yeah, you. you I, I remember when you cut ties with Ed. You cut ties with Ed after you told me uh, that if I carried I, on, I, I, that I would look foolish. And then shortly afterwards, uh, about twenty-four yes. hours afterwards, you showed me the so-called hardcore evidence, which was bizarre because in the podcast yeah. you uh, mentioned uh, that you knew that he had inappropriate uh, uh, information. Only when the physical evidence came out was that enough for you to sever ties with him. Which, uh, by the way, um, looks like you're running away uh from the situation uh, it looks like a cheap fine. way out yeah it's fine but like i'm not running away i messaged him and asked him to call me and he hasn't done it yet so okay. like i'm not i'm really not running away i really want it to be that me and ed could fix this but it's very hard because i can't tell when he's telling the truth anymore but uh to do with the uh That's whole fair. indecent images of uh, underage girls um, do we know that for a fact? Like, because I don't know if that's ever come out. I mean, we had an accusation. Do we know that for a hundred percent fact that he, he's so received? It's like he's committed a crime, right? All right, um, all right. Do we know that for a fact? Yes, because it's uh, it counts as soliciting, even if you. Just okay, said, no, 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 like, no. Do hey, we know? Do we have physical evidence yeah. that the police been turned uh, over? Yeah, to hey, v, uh, v, have you ever found any absolute, uh, definite proof in, in in your cover in this topic that 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 uh, uh, pictures have been exchanged? Because I think. I think Ed denies that, and it's a bit longer, if I'm not mistaken. All I've got no, is uh, no, that. He that he ha hang on, hang on, Alex. I'll get right back with you. I'll all, give you a chance to respond. All I've got is that um, 
this, that one particular girl has sent photos to him. Not okay. that he's sent anything back. And um, I don't know. I have it on. Ha- have we verified? Have people. we verified? Are, are these uh, pornographic in nature? These these photographs. These are uh, uh, the underwear. Alex, I'm asking V. I'm asking V. Right. I will give you a chance to defend yourself. I promise. They're uh, they're underwear photos and um, not no full nudity. No full and, nudity. Uh, also, so it probably doesn't fall under American, at least in Ohio. Uh, it, nudity it's also worth um, pointing out that this the same person has pictures of herself in her underwear on her Twitter. Oh. As well. Changes things so, pretty dramatically. I don't know yeah. if that changes anything, but I don't know. I if it, it, it probably changes. It, well, I mean, for the letter of the law, it probably does. I don't know how that it changes us, and I really don't know how that changes Alex's argument too much. Um, you knew that he was having an inappropriate uh, relationship. You said that on the thing, and the only time when the evidence I came out on Twitter, that's when 17. you cut. That's when you cut ties. No, I, well, I mean, I what knew it, he... Alex? What did you think that they were doing prior to that evidence coming out? No, no, no. I didn't know the ages. I knew four girls who were like 18, 19, and the main girlfriend is one of my good friends, which okay. is why I had an issue with it. All right. Um, okay, okay, okay. But she's under she's, Colossal, she's under 18, she's and a, you know, but you mentioned you mentioned that in the podcast. You only cut ties after you got – you mentioned that in the podcast. You only cut ties after you found out that that girl uh, – I think she says she – says her profile says North Korea uh, – when she went ha, ha, ha at pedophile. That's when you cut ties. No, oh, because that came out after the podcast. I yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. But that's when you cut ties. Exactly. Uh, but, I mean, what did you think that they were doing prior to that? You were aware of it well, when no, the podcast came no, out. I, what did you no, think? You think they were exchanging uh, jib jabs like me and Aeon do? No. Uh, no, and and Valentine's like, gifts? No, and chocolates? Until after, no, I didn't know they were talking until after the podcast. That was my problem. Wait a minute. Does, me, doesn't he no, mention? Wait. Th- 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 look, V. Doesn't he mention no, in the podcast that he knows about these yeah. underage girls? I'm sorry, Alex. That's exactly what I was thinking, Alex. I'm sure you said in the podcast that no. you knew that he was no. speaking to underage I, girls. I'm pretty sure we we didn't know that or mention on the cast. What I knew is that he was cheating on four girls. That's what I I said. It was four girls at the time. You confirmed. said cheating, but you didn't know that they were underage on the podcast, and you didn't say that. You're saying that right now um, on my it's, show. It's important. There's um there's more than four. So we knew about the four girls who were of age, but like uh he had his in real life girlfriend, uh Sabrina, and two other artists in our community. No, the only thing that's uh, important is what you said in the podcast now, Alex. Yeah, I mean, I would have to go back and watch it, but I, yeah, I don't think I, I think you know, because I, I seem to remember something different. Importantly, I don't have it in front <laughs> of me. Why would you have to go back and watch it if, if you know I, that you didn't, didn't know the information it. before? I, I didn't that. say, but if you guys are convinced, like, I mean, I haven't mentioned that. I'm not convinced because I was asking you a question. I'm not convinced. I'm asking you a question. What I, did you say in the podcast? I mean, Oliver found out at the same time. Why is on the podcast? Four girls, maybe more, because um, Ed, maybe more. Hang on. Can I stop you there? Um, I've hearing from i'm getting a lot of messages in people saying that you did say in the podcast that I the girls were care. between I the age of 16 really and 17 the chat has to say because i don't trust it fair uh, enough but but we're gonna find out i don't know in 10 yeah. minutes so are you fine. sure you don't want to walk that back no i i believe i didn't submit that okay. i only found out when colossal found out which was two days after we released the podcast Asking me, asked him. Does that make any uh, sense? Wait, I mean, because, you know, Alex, you wanted to talk to me privately so many times. I know exactly what you wanted to do, and that's exactly why I didn't do it. You wanted to tell me all the stuff that was going on behind the scenes, which I already knew, uh, about what a bad guy Ed was, which it was really irrelevant because I wasn't criticizing Ed. I was criticizing you. I want to talk about the fact that uh, he uh, he ran away. That's got nothing he to do with run. what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted to mention. I wanted to say the reason why you shouldn't be tweeting that, Tommy, is because he's literally done a runner. Um, and I was trying to explain you probably shouldn't be backing him up because he won't even. Yeah, yeah. You uh, prob- come and, to and, us. And, and that's why I took it as a thread. Um, you probably shouldn't oh, be because you're going to look foolish later. Um, let me ask you something, Alex. If, if, if there's any one sure. tweet that you regret, was it the one to me? Because I don't think yeah. I look foolish right now. Oh, yeah. That- uh, oh no, I no, okay. I you're wrong still, Tommy. Like Ed isn't a good guy. I, I didn't say he was a good guy. Ed. You're changing the subject. That's not what I said. Do you regret sending me that tweet? Because oh, I didn't I, Ed, Because I don't look ridiculous I, right now and it didn't have the intended impact Ed, that you thought it would have. Because my first response is if you knew this, why didn't you go to the police? 
if you knew that he and why are you only yeah. separate and why are you only cutting right. tails now and because i'm pretty goddamn right. sure when i go back so, to that yeah. podcast i'm gonna find out you mentioned he had a relationship with underage girls and knew about it i knew he was speaking to him i didn't realize he exchanged pictures you uh, but that's that's a change from what you said five minutes ago we knew that we knew that so you knew they were underage on the podcast but now you didn't know they had pictures hey I let me try to explain this to the best of my ability because I do feel like I've just been shouted at here, Tommy. And like, oh, you are being I, shouted at because you're saying two different yeah. things. That's the way it kind of works. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I mean, for me, the issue is is that he spoke to all of my friends. Now I knew that Ed was doing this because he was a really friendly guy, and uh, that's what Ed was like. But Ed's a bad guy. I, He's I, fucked up. He's fucked up big, uh, Alex. But so did you. And the sooner you come no, to terms with that. I, I, the sooner you'll be really better off. Because you know what? You just came on here and buried yourself. Exactly what I would predict that you did. Tommy, Tommy, I honestly, I have no regrets of anything that I've done. I, I, that's the problem. Honestly, that's I the just... problem. That's the problem. And I'm only yeah, saying oh. this... I, I'm only saying this to you because I don't... You're kind of fucking your, sh your shit up. You're, 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 you're killing it on this platform and you're fucking putting all your chips on this particular hand, which sucks. This hand sucks. Oh. Stop putting money Sorry. into it. Say Sorry. you didn't handle it right. Say you don't know shit about sociopathy. Say it, and, and, and move on. You don't have to be Ed's friend. You've convinced me. Ed did some rotten shit. He may be a bad guy. The thing, honestly, I feel like everything I said on that podcast has been totally removed. Tommy, I am literally on your side. This is my issue. It's like... Because of the fact that, obviously, I understand why you're skeptical. I feel like everything I've said has been twisted in the wrong direction. Because the whole reason we did the podcast was that we wanted to make sure that Ed was in a position where he wasn't going to get damaged. But we also wanted to explain publicly why we can't gut ties because of the fact that we, we want to help Ed. Uh, I sent him to the mental hospital. Except uh, you wanted to help Ed. That's my whole point, Alex. You wanted to help Ed until the so-called evidence came out. And then you were like, oh, you, you, you all took the moral high ground. You can't have it both ways. Because if you knew about it prior, you knew well, damn well I, that it was inappropriate. I, it, it, the the no, fact that the, the pictures, I, the, Alex, this is what you can't get through your thick head. The pictures don't make a difference. And if you're telling, and if they're exactly what V said, only in their underwear, they're probably not illegal. Now, are they a mor uh, morally wrong? Absolutely. Uh, Did he take advantage of people? Guys. Absolutely. But you, I, this is not about Ed. It's about you. You proved it. Ed's a bad guy. Guess what? You fucked this up. No, I really, I want to know. Okay, so can you please explain why I fucked it up? You fucked it up by making, first of all, by making the podcast about yourself. By going on and on about sociopathy, by content, by by separating yourself from him only after the so-called evidence came out, when you knew that he was having an inappropriate relationship with a girl under the sixteen before the evidence came out, and then continuing to double down on it, and when Zaptai actually put some uh, information out there that actually makes a hell of a uh, lot more sense, I'm not done. That makes a hell of a lot yeah. more sense, and you were unable oh, to show was a lie on this program when he puts that yeah, information out. Um, you, you go on Twitch and feel sorry for yourself. And I don't, I dare anybody in this audience to objectively uh, go on and check your screen. No, honestly, that's fine. But that's because you're going to paint it that way, Tommy. And, uh, I mean, obviously I understand. I, I do totally understand where you come from because we make videos on the same stuff. So I, I really do get everything you're saying. Like, well, I, uh, that's I why you're, I'm just telling you why you're being criticized. No, that's fine. Yeah. I just, I just want to, I don't like, hate you, I Alex. I don't before. hate you. I don't want anything bad no, to happen I, I know, to you. I know if you anything, don't. I know, if, I really know you don't. I, 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 honestly, you should just come clean. It's like, I fucked this up. I didn't know what I was doing. I wanted to help, and I didn't, I, and I didn't know what okay. to do, and I, I was afraid I was, it was going to affect me negatively, so I said a bunch of sh bullshit, and I'm never going to do it again. That's the best uh, move, dude. That's the uh, best. Yeah, it's no, not even no, the I understand, but like, I really haven't like uh, bullshitted. I, I really haven't gone out my way to lie. I really want that to be uh, truthful. I feel like even coming out of it in the first place. But me and you we, we also have a truth issue prior to this too, so that's two now. No, but I was right on the keep stop beta situation. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. You sit there and told people that, uh, that you, you you told people a completely false narrative.
If I have to, if it I have to bring up the no, meme, but it was I was there. Design. YouTuber was there too. The guy from Australia I talked to just so about every morning now. And just I mean, I feel like that Discord was split too because fifty percent say nobody. Say I was in that Discord. Nobody talked down to Keem, buddy, especially you. In fact, all of you walked away thinking Clown was fucking guilty party. Oh no! I, <laughs> no, I, I in the uh, Discord, I gave him, right. I gave him a fair uh, game. Alex, 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 I, I mean this sincerely. I'm gonna cut you a break. Um, I, 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 my, my advice to you is, um, reach out to Ed. I've reached out to Ed. If he doesn't reach out to you, or you're afraid of him, or you think he's like, then that's fine. Oh, but no, I, 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 I would do what I'm probably gonna do unless it comes because I have a different kind of show. I probably, I, I, I would apologize for. The, I would go on Twitter right now, apologize for the whole situation, say you handled it maturely and moved on. Um, and I do wish you the best of luck. I do. I really uh, do. Because you, you know what, you're a talented you guy. Good? You built that channel. When I met you, you had ten thousand subs. You built it all by yourself. Uh, but I tell you something, if you keep doubling down on stupid stuff, it, it, it's probably going to end. Look what happened to me when I wouldn't stop fighting with Keemstar. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I understand. I feel like we have like way more to discuss whenever you want to. I'm more than happy to come I, on I don't want to actually, it's over after today. I think I think uh, VWQ okay. killed it. Killed it. That's and fine. I do wish you the best of luck. And I don't hate you. But I tell you something, I am in the business of criticizing commentators that can't take criticism. I won't say that you're one of them, but I don't think you're handling this right, and that's my opinion. All right, bud? Oh, no, I, I really wish I'd never have to go for a situation like this again. It's, I hope so. Uh, I, and and, I, honestly, and I, I honestly, I honestly, I, I hope so, too. All right, buddy? You take care of yourself. All right. Have a good one. Take care, bud. Hey, All Tommy? Right. Yeah. Bonnet if Pig wants to call in. <sighs> I got to go to guys. bed. I got to close. I got to close ranks. I got to yeah. close ranks. If they want to call in tomorrow or something like that, depending on, on, on the topical issue, but, uh, if I can... Show pig this. Um, you can look at my camera, pig. Uh, I'm having issues with the neighbors. This is my soundproofing shit that just came in. Uh, I'm certainly not dipping out. I'd be more than happy to have you on. Um, uh, but I, I think I think we got this. Uh, the way I, ca I, I kind of wish I would have been able to like insert it in earlier, but you you two it, it, you three it, were on a fucking no, roll. It's, it's, and, and this, <laughs> is, this right is the interrupt. fight. I mean, this is the fight. And I and I hope people believe. I don't. I, I've said a lot of rotten shit about Alex lately. I don't think anything too hateful but i don't think he and he did he seemed to triple down on it on this uh, v do you have anything anything to say on the way out or um well i don't know if if alex you're watching this back please try and remember that what we're trying to do is give you advice and not attack you in any way this isn't nobody hates i'm alex i think we'll just want to give you advice and, and help you handle the situation a little bit better i don't think i would have went anti alex if you didn't double down i, I gotta be personally honest with you because i probably would have gave you the benefit of the doubt i'll talk to pig offline if i can the thing is the reason i showed the i i can't talk past 10 o'clock i have to get that shit up so i do apologize to pig um uh and, and if he wants to debate this tomorrow or if he wants to let this die that's entirely up to him um you know i have open phone lines if that's what he wants to do he can talk to me offline um and but this is this is it for me i apologize but i mean that that's it aeon before we out what do you have to say um i really did enjoy um you guys should even if you aren't really aware of the um entire step tie situation all the way you really should watch v uh v's uh three videos um the first one he did such a good job explaining sociopathy the diagnosis and at the very end of it once again, we should remember that it's the girls that, at the end of the day, are kind of the victims here. To what um, we're just I, being kind of idiots. I, it is bit. the girls are victims. Bionic Pig, you just, if you're just going to call me and let him talk more, the only time I interrupted him is when he was going off. Let me tell you about Ed. And let me tell you what he did to this girl. And let me tell you what he did. I'm not interested in that. And that's not what he's here for. And it wouldn't have changed anything. The criticism was the way he handled it, not zap tie. And I think we've clearly established, you guys have clearly, clearly established that Zaptai has done some rotten shit. You guys railing about sociopathy, you guys talk, acting like you knew what you're talking about. Um, when, it, it, to me, most adults would look at this, this kid needs help. He's fucking talking to girls on the internet. That's the way I interpreted it. I don't judge any of you guys for cutting ties from him in the sense that, um, thank you very much. I don't, I don't, uh, they mentioned underage girls uh, at what soup at 1736. Hey, Bionic Pig, how is that going to change? The fact that I interrupted him, how does it change that if that's true? Are you just going to come on and tell me I, I, that I should have let him talk more? Maybe, but I'm not going to let him spin out in other places. Sorry. 
The criticism was of him, not Zaptai. And that's what he wanted to talk about. That was the whole point of the tweet that aggravated me so much. You're going to be in trouble if you carry on like this. Well, I knew that wasn't true when I heard it. It's not me. I'm not under fire here. I didn't fuck up. If you want to call tomorrow, uh, uh, Pig, you got me in the DMs, and you're more than welcome to. <laughs>